Welcome to the dark world of aquascaping. Today we're going to speak about reason number one of people leaving this beautiful hobby. And this reason is algae. As is, lights. Much better, isn't it? In this episode, we're gonna speak about this aquarium that is behind me. This aquarium is uh, one and a half years old and it was built at a client of ours. Actually, I built it and the client himself. The problem with this aquarium is uh, that it had been heavily neglected and, uh, well, you can see how it looks right now. To the example of this aquarium, we're gonna touch the algae subject. We're gonna speak about what causes algae and why algae is the number one reason for people leaving this hobby. We might be professional aquascapers and we might know a lot about uh, how to deal, how to address different algae, and we might have some clues as to what algae is caused by what reason. But truth is that uh, mother nature is, is a very complicated thing, is a very complicated entity, and we really need to be humble in face of its wonders and we really need to state that we don't know anything about what we're saying here. The real issue in dealing with tanks full of algae is uh, that one has to fight with themselves when it comes to what's happening in the aquarium. Our pride prohibits us to understand Mother Nature. And many, many clients that I spoke to have told me that I have a good filtration, I have nice lighting, I have CO2, but still, I have a lot of algae. So what's the problem? The problem is that you have started to enumerate what kind of solutions you had and what is right in your tank. Algae is caused by something that is not right in your tank. So the question is, what did I miss? The problem is that we people tend to blame others when there's a problem with something in our lives. Maybe the filtration is wrong. Maybe the guy who sold me the filter is wrong because he sold me some kind of filter that I, I, it wasn't fit for my aquarium. I'm not trying to be right here. Don't try to be right. Don't try to beat Mother Nature. Just try to be humble to understand what's happening around you. There is a way. In fact, there are multiple ways to operate an algae-free aquarium. Don't think that what we're saying here and what we're preaching about here is the only right way. There are many right ways to operate an aquarium. This is one of them. All right, it's enough. Let's start working. <laughs> Okay, so what is the reason behind algae? Why do we have algae? At the beginning, people were saying that uh, algae is caused by high nitrates and high phosphates. This turned out not to be entirely true. Obviously, if you have more nitrates than 50 ppm or you have more phosphate than 10 ppm, then you might have a problem because like higher nitrates will prohibit plant growth and you might have algae issue because of plants suffering. But then the modern technology and the modern science have taught us, no, actually speculates on algae being caused by light and ammonia. The more light you have, the less ammonia you need to have algae. Okay, this is a problem because aquascapes and, uh, and modern aquariums have a lot of light, light above them, so only a little algae will cause your aquarium to have an algae bloom. And what is algae bloom? It's the sudden appearance of algae and the sudden coverage of the whole aquarium by algae. I told you before that you can leave this aquarium running for two, uh, two years without filtration, without stuff. Don't do this. That is bullshit. You need to have strong filtration. Don't believe what I said. I just said it because of those guys who wanna 
be alternative and, and argue with us all the time. This is just not working. Because there are certain people, whatever we do, it's not good. It's important that they have to oppose everything. That's the type of guy. You know them. They're everywhere in the forums. Comments, everything. We have a website, edgy.greenaqua.com. If you visit that website, you're going to find a lot of descriptions describing the different algae, their causes, and their so-called treatments. So what you can do to get rid of that algae. It is most important that you cannot fight algae by fighting the algae itself, you need to find what caused the algae and you need to work on eliminating that cause. Okay, what can cause algae? I have a number of things here. Let me talk to you about this. Number one, filtration. Filtration is really important. I've been talking about filtration in many, many episodes previously. Uh, you need to have a very good quality biological filter media in your external filter. You need an external filter because you need a high volume filter media. Okay, what is high quality filter media? These are microscopic images that we made in a lab of different filter media. There are big difference in surface area for these uh, different filter media. Oh, another favorite. You're gonna disturb the fish. You're gonna move the water, the fish are gonna be disturbed. No, they're hiding behind the rocks. The fish are disturbed because you're not keeping your water clean. You're not doing your water changes. Do your water changes, 50% per week. Don't be lazy. Oh, and I bought this rock from you guys. It's leaking something. The fish are dying. No, the fish are dying because of the ammonia spikes. You don't see that? They're just toxicated because you didn't change your water. Number two. Lighting. Lighting is very important. Why? Because you need to adjust your lighting to be good with the type of aquarium that you have. If you have a low-tech aquarium, you're not allowed to have a lot of light because you don't have CO2 and plants will start to photosynthesize under the strong light strongly. And for that, they need a lot of CO2. And if you don't provide that to them, they will develop problems and they will start to rot. So algae and ammonia is mainly caused by rotting organic material in your tank. Third, water parameters. Water param parameters are really important. Why? Because plants usually are living in uh, equatorial environments and water is not very hard. So you need soft water for most plants. CO2 levels. In order for plants to have a nice photosynthesis, you need a lot of CO2. CO2 levels are also very, very difficult to control. And fluctuation of CO2 is also not desired in a planted tank. Why? Because that will cause also algae. So please be aware that not only low levels of CO2 can cause algae, also fluctuating levels of CO2 can cause algae. Oh, and one more thing. I'm not gonna buy aquariums because I'm too busy. I don't have time to maintain them. Not true. We have one guy for 12 show tanks, a lot of fish tanks, plant holding tanks in the green aqua, and that guy is working 40 hours per week. No, he's working 32 hours per week, and he's coping with them all. So how much per aquarium? He's not gonna spend more than one hour, maximum one hour and a half on one aquarium. So if you don't have one hour and a half per week to have something, a beauty, not like this was before, but like this is gonna look like uh, in, in a week or so, then this hobby is not for you. Just get, watch another movie. Fifth, plant nutrients. That can also cause algae. How? The lack of them or the excess of them or the unbalance of them. There are times when algae is good. For example, in miso soup. Yummy. A useful algae session. Temperature. Temperature can cause algae as well. How? If the water is too hot, the rotting process will be faster 
If the writing process is faster, the bacteria living in, the, in your filter will not cope with the uh, ammonia spikes and ammonia and light will result in algae. Seaweed on a stick. ADA pin sets. Beautiful. Number seven, hardscape and soil. Uh, we've been touching this subject before when we were talking about filtration. The good quality substrate system is very important because the bacteria living there are contributing to the nitrifying process uh, and uh, they're going to get rid of the ammonia, transforming the ammonia into nitrates. Uh, plants will feel better when they have a good, their roots are in a good quality uh, substrate. All right, enough of this very dark algae whatever thing. I'm, I'm sure that you guys are already bored. I've been talking about the very difficult system of maintaining an aquarium. So let's see how a beautiful aquarium looks like now. I've been describing you how the system, a proper setup system looks like. It sounds difficult, but it's really not. Just get a good filter, set up a good CO2 system, have a good light, good substrate, keep the regular 50% water changes and you're gonna be fine. Okay, so what do we do if we see algae? All aquascapers at a certain point are seeing algae in their aquariums. Always address the root cause, not the symptoms. So try to find out what caused the algae. Is your water too hot? Is your filter too small? Is the flow of the filter too strong? Is the flow too low? There are many things. Then, get some algae eaters. Then, try to physically remove all algae in your aquarium. It's very important to get rid of as much algae as possible before addressing the root cause, because you're giving your tank a bigger chance. You can do a blackout. What's a blackout? You can wrap your whole aquarium into a black foil or you can just cover it with blankets and leave it like that for about two days. Uh, we have the detailed description of the blackout process in our lg.greenaqua.com website. Check it out. So what helps you uh, with algae besides edge eaters and a good system. You can use liquid carbon. You can get a surface skimmer to clean the surface and make sure that the surface gas exchange is okay. And then you can get a twin star, which is helping you to create an environment which is oxygen uh, rich. This environment will not be favorable for algae. All right, so I think uh, you got way too much information for a short uh, movie. Uh, let me just tell you the common mistakes quickly. You stop dozing because you see some algae. Problem. Your plants are going to suffer some more. Don't stop dozing when you see algae. Two, blame others. Don't blame others. Don't blame anybody. Don't blame yourself. Just look into what the root cause of the algae might be. Try to experiment and that's it. Don't think you know everything. Don't give up. Don't try to be cheap. If you try to get, get a cheap filter with cheap filter media, a bad light, you're gonna have algae and you're gonna just stop this hobby. I'm not saying that you need to spend a lot of money, so I'm not encouraging you guys to spend a lot of money on hobby. Just think of what you're gonna do. If uh, you can do it, just wait a little bit, save more money, just buy the right equipment. It's imperative to have the right equipment. And also be patient. If you change something, like you adjust your CO2 levels, wait a couple of days, see what happens. Don't try to solve everything at once. Mother Nature is not thinking in your terms. We know that our life is really fast and we try to have immediate results in everything. But Mother Nature was here long before we did and is going to be here a long time after we are not here. So just take your time. Don't overfeed fish. When you're leaving for a vacation, and you ask your grandma to help you with that, make sure that you tell them fish are hungry all the time. So when the poor fish are running for food, 
it's just their habit. So if they cannot eat everything that you're giving them in two, three minutes, then you have a problem because rotting food can cause ammonia spikes. And by the time that you get back from that beautiful beach, you're gonna just see a tank full of algae like the one behind me. Oh, by the way, guys, if you wanna have this beautiful t-shirt from Moss Cotton, check it out, mosscotton.com and you can get 10% discount if you type the coupon code, the discount code, LG free, muscotton.com, coupon code LG free, and you can get the brand new t-shirts, I love them. All right, Uris's website, check it out. Okay guys, this was the uh, LG session at Green Aqua. I hope uh, that we didn't bore you to hell with all the, uh... I gotta eat to think. So I hope I did. we didn't bore you to hell with um, with all the theory about algae. If you like the Green Aqua channel, please subscribe if you didn't already do so. Or you can get notified by our future uploads by clicking the bell button, which is right next to the subscribe button I learned. <laughs>